and the conventions may be over, but the nominees are not slowing down anytime soon. We are following some breaking news out of Austin, Texas this morning, where police say there have been two separate shooting incidents within the same area. Austin police confirming one person is dead and several others are wounded. And nationwide, 4th of July sees the most reported fires of any day of the year. 50% of those are caused by fireworks. A Topsom officer searching for an alleged drunk driver rear-ended by the suspect. A Massachusetts and New Hampshire state trooper are facing assault charges for this violent takedown. It happened back in May after the suspect wanted on multiple warrants led police on a chase. Back here at home, Maine's most famous crustacean is honored this weekend in Rockland at the annual Maine Lobster Festival. Delta Airlines trying to get back on track after a computer problem grounds flights worldwide. When we heard this next story in the newsroom, we admit we went a little mad cow with the puns. In Wyndham, police had an utterly ridiculous time, and it looks like the House of Representatives will approve a compromise today on a trillion dollar spending bill to avoid yet another government shutdown. And we have Dan Morin of the Maine Turnpike on the phone with us now. Dan, thank you for joining us. Can you tell us what you know so far? Good morning, Katie and Norm. And I talked to a group of people who have been coming here together from all over the country. They travel for primary week. For 30 years, they've been here, okay? Their first primary was 1988. It's a tradition. Yeah, we're going to see that story straight I ahead. was seven years old in 1988. I was born in 1988. <laughs> I guess we just dated ourselves. Anyway, Paul. Okay, so the big story. Brosnan was released from jail today on conditions that we do not know at this time. He won't enter a plea until the case goes to grand jury. And this 23-page document details the allegations against him. It is time for the waiting game for these candidates who are certainly on edge this morning. But today is all about the voter. And some of them here in the Granite State have already spoken. We were watching as the numbers started to come in, each polling place one after another, similarly rejecting the chance to up the minimum wage here in Portland to $15 an hour. Tyler, we're giving you a couple of chances to stump us on the weather trivia today, so uh, you're one for one. <laughs> so far, so good, but we'll see if I, I can pull it off the second one, too. Okay. Yeah. We'll take it. Fire up the grill, right, Russ? Katie? Fire up the Grab grill. the golf clubs. Fire up the grill. Let's go fishing, <laughs> golfing. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> yes. 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 So this not really a snowman snow, um, but definitely your kids could maybe make a, a great snow angel. And uh, speaking of, I think I'm going to do that now. And uh, on that note, Norm, I'll send it back to you. All right, Katie. She's done this before. <laughs> that's, that's classic.